wanted to do a really quick video on some stuff that I got. I'm not going to show you everything I got. I posted a picture on Facebook and the Shave the Man group and razor and brush of all the, the mail call. So I got a bunch of cool stuff and today in my shave I'll put down below what I shaved with. But I wanted to tell you guys about a couple things. So I used Dapper Docs by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, which is a lilac and fig shaving soap. And this is a wonderful scent. And uh, if you like floral, but um, it's kind of masculine. This is awesome. I'm not really going to talk about it. I'm just going to show you what I used because what I'm really excited about, and I had no clue this even existed, Pitrolone. And this was recommended to me by Claudio Portugal, my friend who lives in Brazil. And he just <laughs> kind of out of the blue was like, hey, check it out. Uh, Bull Goose is selling this stuff. And I've never heard of this. And it comes in kind of a cool box. Open it up. Really cool bottle, glass bottle, 160 milliliters. And for $20. Shipping was a little expensive, but it got to my house ridiculously quick. And I totally blind bought this, had no idea what it smelled like. And on Bull Goose, they just said, I think it smells like pear. So I asked Claudio, hey, what does this stuff smell like? And he said, rose. And I said, man, I'm not really a big rose scented guy. And he's like, no, no, you got to get it. It has awesome healing qualities, healing properties. And I was like, well, all right, you convinced me. So I got it. So I totally, I used it for the first time and I opened this with the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Dapper Docs. And then I smelled this and I was like, you know, I think these might pair well. So I did a little digging online. I found some information. And another thing, just so you guys know, what you need to know about guys, uh, about Brazil, is they're one of the largest uh, countries that is in that buys fragrances so a lot of the fragrances we're seeing here is slowly ebbing over because of the trends that are going on in Brazil because they love their scents and their scents are probably a little different than what Western culture would really like but uh, that's just where the market's going and I thought you know they're all about scents down there. Claudio knows his stuff, so I, I got to try it. And he was right on the money. So I found, I was trying to see if I could find some information on what's in this. And here's a little history. Pitcher Lawn's 160 milliliter aftershave is the original Eau de Toilette created in 1927. Besides alcohol, this tingling fresh aftershave also includes camphor, and an antiseptic agent. The original Pitcherlon variant looks after the skin and hygiene even today after shave has a large following and is mainly found in special shops. And then here's the notes. So you've got on the top you've got uh, your initial impressions. Banana, Lang Lang, Geranium, Rose, Lilac, Eucalyptus, and Norway Spruce. And Kind of dab some on here. You get kind of the alcohol. You really do get the rose. I'm not really sure what Lang Lang smells like. Possibly some banana. Uh, it's very floral, so the, I, I'm assuming the lilac's coming through. And it does have kind of a slight woody note, so that might be the spruce. And then the heart notes, this is the fragrance that kind of identify this scent. 
is Lang Lang Lemongrass Rose Lily of the Valley Aniseed and Conifer. And then at the very base that's holding it all together is Lang Lang and Vanilla. So pretty awesome breakdown. And just so you guys know, I'm not, I was not a huge floral scent guy, but lately I've been kind of turned on by floral scented soaps, uh, like Razor Rocks for Chicago. I love that scent. Tonsorial Parlors kind of got some nice, um, beyond the fruit notes, it's got some uh, floral notes going on. And this is just a really, really nice scent. I'll put some on real quick. This stuff feels wonderful. It's a little bit of burn, but it's not, it's not like your regular aftershave. And this is a huge bottle. I mean, 160 mils for 20 bucks. That is pretty sweet. So if you guys are into floral scents or you're a little um, experimental, you might want to try it. I'm not a big rose scent guy, but this one actually really works. It does have kind of an old, tiny feel. But at the same time, I think it's kind of different. It's so different that uh, I think it could also be interpreted as kind of modern. It's a... Uh, it's really nice. It's just blended really, really well. I'm really excited about this. So Claudio, thank you. I totally, this was like a total blind buy. Had no idea what I was getting. I don't have any scents that are quite like this, except now, again, this was total accident. Dapper Docs pairs perfectly with this stuff. So I kind of think if you don't have this in your den, you really need to get it because it's awesome. I'm like really, really enjoying this. And if I have any like, you know, cause I just put it on. So after like an hour or so, I'm, I might put some notes in the description box and I'll put information on where you can get it and all that stuff and my shave of the day. So just wanted to share this with you. I was pretty excited, didn't know what I was getting and I love it. So it's awesome. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll talk to you later. I gotta go watch my baby sister play her last game of basketball kind of sad but it's gonna be awesome so pitch alone if you don't have it you guys should check it out see ya